Welcome back, everybody. I hope you all are having a fantastic day out there. We have an absolute banger for you here today on this Monday, fresh start to a new week. Now, I want to talk to you about the incredibly close relations Ripple now has with JP Morgan. I want to talk to you about what everyone out there is talking about as it pertains to this, but more importantly, what people are not talking about and what I believe is being missed as it is incredibly important and will be pivotal to the success of XRP. All I ever ask is if you do like talking about Ripple and XRP, guys, you know what to do. Drop an X, smash the like button, share the video. Let others around this world know what is truly happening in this digital revolution. First and foremost, guys, Smoke puts out, quote, catalyst for crypto adoption in 2024 will be positive stablecoin legislation in the U.S., end quote. And JP Morgan, the world's largest bank, predicts stablecoin bill to pass before the election. So we don't have to wait till the end of the year. He's saying before election. Now, JP Morgan, let's talk about JP Morgan. As Ripple partner Neom, which I'm sure many of you have heard of, teams up with JP Morgan. And who does Neom use? in terms of cryptocurrencies, XRP, as they are a partner of Ripple, as Subjective Views puts Ripple partner Neom Global just teamed up with JP Morgan. Listen here. At Neom, we understand the need for speed and transparency, but we also understand that there needs to be trust in the system. JP Morgan Payments is our natural choice. Now, guys, obviously, this is absolutely masses, massive as who hasn't heard of JP Morgan and now puts us in incredibly close ties with them. Now, Global Real Time uh, Payments Neom has also partnered with Stellar in the past. And a lot of people aren't talking about that. But more importantly, as many people are kind of freaking out on this, saying, hey, this is the holy shit moment. XRP to be used by Neom and JP Morgan and putting out these documents. What are people, I believe, missing? Sing. Earlier this year, around February in 2024, right, Neom became the first global fintech to secure coveted Type 1 funds transfer license from Japan's financial service agency. And you say, okay, why is that important? As this Singaporean a company that has partnered with Ripple, now partnered with Japan, uh, JP Morgan and puts us in close ties. Well, what's happening here, guys, and I wouldn't be surprised if Ripple doesn't just consume Neom and actually buy them out like they did with Medico. But what is very obvious and apparent to me is globally, worldwide, Ripple is becoming the most dominant player. Already is, but in terms of regulatory clarity, and licensing. And so this has been the plan all along as we can continue can excuse me continuously see day in and day out what is happening with the largest banks in the world who they are partnering with who are they they using for fintech for their fintech operations but more importantly becoming compliant with licensing and regulatory clarity and many jurisdictions all over the world. So as we finally phase out this smoke and mirrors case, the Ripple and SEC case, what we can see is a flood of banks that are guaranteed to utilize Ripple services known as the XRPL, XRP being the native asset. And that's why I continuously talk and will not stop talking about the importance of licensing and regulatory clarity. As XRP is the number one digital asset out there with regulatory clarity. See what's happening around the world infrastructurally, digitally. XRP is the number one winner. And so while many are focused on the day to day price action, whether we're pumping that day or not pump pumping that day, no one seems to actually be focusing anymore on the bigger picture. I hope you are. I hope you're taking these bits of P and pieces and putting the puzzle together and realizing just how massive this is. Because at this point, guys, no one out there can keep up with Ripple. What that means for us as XRP investors is no digital asset will be able to long-term keep up with XRP. Now, as Radar put, the Fed Chair 
Powell, Fed Chair Powell, the time has come for policy to adjust. Inflation has declined significantly. The labor market is less tight. The direction of travel is clear. It is very clear now on the position the Fed are about to take in terms of pivoting from their previous policies, right? And so as we see the engine start to turn on, we start to see this market start to ramp up. I believe we are 100% ready for the explosion of XRP. And I know this is a long time coming and many of you out there are getting fatigued, but take a look at what is happening around you. Put the pieces together of the puzzle and realize that if you are in XRP, of course, this is my personal opinion. Let me know yours in the comment section below, but you are perfectly positioned to be the number one digital asset of this digital revolution. That's all I got for you for now. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, and we will see you all in the next one.